I'm Boot Hill with uh, the Sheridan County Sheriff's Office. I uh, am the law enforcement liaison for Area 4 Special Olympics Wyoming. And I'm Carrie Pilcher and I'm the Area 4 Director for Special Olympics um, Wyoming. We're serving the five northern, northeastern counties of Wyoming. Today is the Jackalope for Special Olympics. It's uh, similar to a polar plunge, but we do this to raise funds and awareness for Special Olympic athletes. This is our 10th year here in Sheridan, having a Sheridan jump. We started at Lake DeSmit and have uh, moved to town to a pool because it turns out you can get more people to jump into an icy pool than you can a hole in the ice. Um, so we're looking forward to a good turnout today. And the weather's treating us pretty good. You know, we used to say freezing for a reason. Um, and we changed it to this year to become a below zero hero. So it's just about um, kind of having those same skill sets that our athletes have and, um, you know, bravery and um, courage and all of those things it takes to jump in some icy cold water. Each jumper um, is asked to get one or several sponsors. Um, we have athlete jumpers, non-athlete jumpers. Um, you can have business sponsors, personal sponsors. We ask that each individual jumper raise at least $100. That gets them a t-shirt. Um, and then the more money they raise from there, the more prizes they get. Um, so up to $1,000, they get a backpack, a blanket, a hat, a scarf. Uh, so lots of incentives for them. And then we also have some categories. We do a, um, a costume contest. So we want people to have fun and dress up um, before they jump in. Um, and then we also give awards for uh, most money raised by a team, most money raised by an individual, most money raised by an athlete, um, and then the largest group jump. We have a, a pretty good selection of everything. We have several um, athletes that are jumping today, um, several uh, law enforcement officers from the Sheriff's Office and Police Department here, and a lot of uh, just community members that come out to support our athletes and, and jump as well. Yep, and then we've also got um, some volunteer firefighters. They're, yep. they're um, nice enough to come out here last night, set up this pool, give us their building, and then they also gave us money and they're also going to jump in. So shout out to the Goose Valley um, Fire Department. They are very supportive of our efforts and so they've been a great help. Absolutely, the ongoing several years now. We do the uh, law enforcement torch run, which is, um, you might have seen us on Main Street every year where we relay the actual uh, Wyoming Special Olympic Flame of Hope down Main Street with uh, integrated with law enforcement and uh, Special Olympic athletes. Um, and then we just started last year, we had our inaugural truck pull. Um, so that happens right here at Goose Valley and um, we get some teams together and they actually pull fire trucks um, just with their brute force. So they get um, some sponsors to sponsor them and do that. Um, and then we do have some individual teams that do some fundraisers. Our school district, you know, has an quilt raffles, things like that throughout the year. We've, we've got a couple of new um, fundraisers in the works at the moment that, that I think are going to be good for Sheridan and, and our local athletes. So we're always looking for support to, to, from the community and, and to uh, raise awareness for Special Olympics. That's what a lot of this is. Yeah, awareness and then the funds are always helpful. That helps... Um, our athletes travel. You know, Wyoming's a big state, and so um, to have our state competitions, we often have to travel to Casper and Laramie and um, places like that. So um, it helps offset all of those costs, helps buy equipment, uniforms, um, all of those things so that our athletes have the opportunity to do this at little cost to them.